Well, this Barbie drives herself to the party. Hey everybody and welcome back to another Barbie movie video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Collector Corvette. And before we start, I'm Jamie and I like to make toy videos here on my channel so make sure you like, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you would like to stay tuned for more toy video content. Alright, here it is. So this is a replica of the 1956 Chevrolet Corvette that is featured in the movie. The version I got here is under the Barbie signature banner, so I guess it's considered a collector piece. But there are two other versions available out there. One is the Hot Wheels remote control car and the other one is the AMC Theater popcorn bucket. I'll get back to those in a bit later. This one retails for $75 over there in the States, but I couldn't find it online anywhere because they were basically sold out everywhere, so... I had to get a friend over in Singapore to pick it up for me in stores over at Takashimaya, where it retails for $200 Singapore dollars, which is around $145 US dollars, so it's basically double the price, but hey, that is the retail price for the Asian market, so what am I gonna do? Anyways, the packaging is nice, big, and pink and has lots of pretty photos of the car, the details, and Barbie riding in it and herself. Overall, pretty nice packaging, but we're not here for the packaging, right? So let's take it out. Oh, and here is a comparison of the box's size compared to that of a doll, so it's kind of big and it's kind of heavy. Alright, now we take it out. It comes out pretty easily and overall it's very simplistic packaging. Although I did not realize that while I was filming this and it took me a good 10-15 to 15 minutes to figure it out. And I just noticed the steering wheel is connected to the front two wheels, which is so cool. This is just me trying to figure out how to take the car out of the box. I also found a random screw lying about. Then I finally figured it out that you're supposed to turn those little tabs and not rip them off. Once you've done that, the car is pretty much free. Pretty ingenious packaging. Or maybe it's just the norm for all type of toy car vehicle packaging. Maybe I just didn't know because I'm never into cars. Not in real life, not in the toy world. <laughs> it does come with a Barbie signature certificate of authenticity. And funny enough, it just says Barbie movie vehicle. So maybe they couldn't use the Chevrolet branding. I don't know because nowhere on the box mentions the Chevy either. And I think I also found where that loose screw might go in. Let's just undo the final plastic wrapping and our Chevy is free. Taking a 360 look, wow, it's really big. Not too big, but it's bigger than what I anticipated. It's big and long and I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> the attention to detail just from a first glance is astonishing. It's so pretty. And I don't ever get excited for cars. And I'm excited for this toy car. <laughs> Okay, I've never reviewed a car before, so I don't even know how to go about this, so we'll go section by section. In the front, you got your nicely detailed grills and the headlights. They are stickers, but there's also a plastic layer on top, so it makes it look like glass. Then you got your iconic Barbie number plate, as well as the Chevrolet logo. The plastic has a nice glossy finish so that it mimics a car's paint job. Coming to the side, we got more details like the lining of the white paint job, the full oil tank cover, another logo of Chevrolet. Here we got the look at the wheels. I don't know how to call the part in the middle in English. In Burmese, we just call it Gui, and that is what I know. But the tires are also very nicely sculpted with their indent details. Now we move on to the doors, which actually open. You got an attached door handle detail as well as a keyhole detail in the sculpt. Inside the door you got a window rolling handle that actually rolls but no window actually comes up, <laughs> an armrest and also a handle on the inner side of the door. The front seats are raised but the back seats are on the floor. Maybe it's designed that way to make dolls fit in there better. While we're in the car, here is also a closer look at the steering wheel and the control panel, which have details for the mileage, the radio, little knobs, and whatnot. 
There is also plenty of room under the hood for the doll's feet to go. Now moving on to the back, you got more silver lining detail as well as back lights and also a trunk that actually opens. It's actually quite spacious. I wonder if Ken fits in there. On the other side of the car, it's exactly the same, just without the full oil tank cover. Underneath the car, there are some nice little sculpted details that mimic the inner workings of the engines. And a cute Barbie logo. Now, in terms of the movability of the wheels, they do have a nice smooth movement to them. You can give it a little nudge and they, they will roll on. And I'm doing this on a table, on a fabric, and it does move very well even that. And of course, my favorite part is the part that those steering wheels are connected to the two front wheels. That is so cool. It doesn't add much to the movement of the car overall, but it does give nice variety in terms of posing. All right, now we got Barbie to try out the car. So this is a size comparison uh, with Barbie and the car. So out of all the three cars that are available, I think this is the most um, size accurate in terms of scale um, with the doll and the car. Putting her in the car, she does go in very easily. All you need to do is uh, pose her in a sitting position and just kind of um, slide her legs in from an angle under the hood and she's in the car. I do have to say, the doll looks really good with a car, and the car looks really good with the doll. Like, they complement each other off of each other, like, so well. Like, I bought the car mostly as a photo piece and a display piece, but now I feel like I want to play with it. And her little tiny tiptoe heel feeds fits nicely and comfortably under there. Okay, I did have a little bit of trouble trying to make her fit into the back seat. It is not as easy as the front seat, but what I found out is that I kind of just made her sit sideways and then slowly turned her around for the feet to go under the front seats and it kind of worked, but not as well as the front seat. It was a little kind of a struggle and her feet do poke out <laughs> under the, the front seat, so it's kind of funny. Okay, before I get into my final thoughts, I did notice that on the box, it does look like the car was supposed to come with seat belts. You can see the seat belt straps there, and you can even see the holes that they're supposed to go into. So I think it was a prototype thing, and they kind of just decided to ditch it. I mean, like, who needs seat belts in Barbie land? But it would have been really cool to still have them. Okay, so for my final thoughts, I think this car is absolutely fantastic. I just love it so much much it's very accurate to the movie it's very nicely replicated the quality is decent and the dolls fits in there so great if you're wondering which version of the car to get i think the answer is pretty obvious if you're looking for a very movie accurate and very size accurate in terms of scale go for this one but if you don't mind the scale then you can go for the rc remote control car which is also cool on its own you can make it drive i actually ordered it off of mattel creations two months ago and they have not shipped it yet so once i get that i'll do a size comparison even further for the amc popcorn market it's also quite unique on its own because it features a hot pink paint job so that is also very cool if you're a collector and a completionist you can go for that as well but for me i am quite very content with this car but right now thank you so much for watching that was it for my review on the barbie movie corvette collector car edition review so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts in the comments down below like which version of the car do you have and which one is your favorite you can also check me out on Instagram at Jamie Creates for my toy photography featuring the Barbie movie dolls, Disney, and so much more. Once again, thank you so much for watching until the very end, and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!